Finger strength is an attribute that is greatly associated with climbers, and it's no surprise that top level climbers can do insane feats of strength with their fingers. There are incredible climbers in the world who can do one finger pull ups and hang on tiny edges. In this episode of Beta Break, I wanted to feature a climber who may not be an international household name, but is still an incredible climber in his own right, and shows an extreme display of finger strength that definitely made the crowd roar. I'm talking about Ecuador's Danny Valencia. But before we watch today's Beta Break, we first have to talk about two things, pockets and Houdini. Pockets are small openings and climbing holds that allow only one to three fingers. Pockets that are one fingered are often called monos as only one finger can fit in the hold. Now about Houdini. Well, maybe I should be saying Houdini match or ghost match. This really unique technique is when you have one hand fully covering the usable surface of a hold, place your other hand over it, and like magic, slip out the other hand to replace it with this hand on top. During the Pan American Championship of 2020 in February, boulder problem number 3 during the finals of the combined competition featured a boulder problem that had a unique sequence that I've talked about and shown a few times before. The figure 4. This was achieved by having pockets facing a specific way that forced the climbers to figure 4 over their right arm to cross upwards with their left to the next pocket. This was a unique boulder because, as I said in past episodes, using a figure 4 is a less common move, and setting a boulder that forces a figure 4 is quite hard, as you can usually campus the move instead. However, in this case, using small pockets really discouraged climbers from campusing the move. It discouraged everyone except Danny Valencia. It was no problem for the US climbers, as they all found the sequence quite quickly. They figure forward, and they made the next move, and all of them topped the problem. Now before I show the clip, I do have a personal note on this performance. Although he didn't win the competition or even top this boulder, watching him show such an amazing effort really reflected in the crowd as the cheers and roars were deafening. Danny definitely walked away from that competition as a crowd favorite and I think we should all watch him closely in the future as he's an incredible climber with a bright future. Now I'll stop talking and I want you to enjoy this clip and hear the roars from the crowd. I always preferred to in bouldering just because you never know if you'll get a chance to chalk up. But seeing this figure four here, I'm sure a lot of them might decide to. So, no problem at all. Tani Valencia through that lower section looked very casual earlier on. Will he try the figure of four? He's, he's going to try and match and then swap hands. That will cause him problems higher up if he does manage it because he'll then be tied up a bit later on. I'm not sure this is the method at all, but let's see what he's got. He goes up to the pocket, the crowd react. Extremely strong climbing by Danny, but not necessarily the most efficient, having to go smash the pocket twice. He needs to take a second to then do the bump. Crowd getting right behind him, and as well they might. He's putting on an amazing show here, Danny Valencia. Match the first pocket, go smash the second one. Um, creating an awful lot of extra work for himself but he's still hanging on in there a couple of moves look like he was absolutely on the limit uh, and energy wise even though it's his first attempt I wonder if he'd have enough juice for another go if this one doesn't work out and it is not going to work out Danny Valencia was able to bypass the figure four by matching the first pocket and even holding on with only two middle fingers as his feet cut then campused into the next pocket and did a Houdini or ghost match to attempt the next move. This is one of my favorite beta breaks because even though Danny didn't top this boulder, he really showed his maximum effort on the boulder and embraced what climbing is all about. Trying your best and climbing the way you climb. So the next time you climb, you may notice that you have a different style or a different beta than others, but what matters is that you embrace who you are and try your very best every single time. Thanks, Danny, and keep crushing it.